we just got a new box, Stage of Trickstar. It is a mini box with a lot of Link monsters and support for the Trickstar archetype. We have Shooting Code Talker, we have some Water Exceeds support, Marinse support, Paleo support, and just a bunch of other random stuff. Okay, so let's go over Trickstar first. Trickstars are a Link archetype that has a lot of effects that burns your opponent for a hundred damage. Some burn when your opponent summons a monster, some burns when your opponent draws a card or adds a card from their hand. Basically the entire deck just keeps burning your opponent for a hundred. And they also have a lot of cards that allow your opponent to draw cards, like Bloom, when it is Link Summoned, your opponent draws a card. It synergizes with another Trickstar monsters like Licorice. When your opponent adds a card from their deck to the hand, you can also inflict damage. The archetype has pretty consistent searchers like Candina. When it's summoned, you add a Trickstar card from your deck to their hand. But Trickstars as an archetype right now is not really good. Their archetype monsters have a pretty low attack which means they can't beat over opponent's high attack monsters pretty easily. There are no rewards for burning our opponent, there are no card removals, there are no disruptions, the deck just accomplishes pretty much nothing. And the deck is not even aggressive enough to be an OTK deck. So uh, Trick Stars right now not worth investing. They do not have a win condition, and all they do is just burn your opponent for 100, which is basically just nothing. Shark Drake Vice is not a good card in itself, but we do have a new skill to go with this card. Shark Rising is a skill that allows you to have a Xyz Revive Splash in your graveyard when you begin the duel. This card is basically a rank up magic that is also a quick effect. It allows you to rank up on any rank 3 monster to make your Shark Drake because it requires free monsters which is a bit hard to summon, but with your Xyz Revive Splash, you only need a single rank 3 water monster instead. Anytime in a duel, you can just make your life points a thousand, which allows you to trigger the effect of a Shark Break Vice, which turns your opponent's attack to zero. Then, this skill also allows you to inflict double damage if you attack with a Xyz monster with Shark Drake as a material. So basically, you will want to make your rank 3 monster, use Xyz Revive Splash Graveyard effect to make a Shark Drake, activate your skill, make your life points a thousand, rank this up, make your Shark Drake vice on top of your Shark Drake, make your opponent's attack zero, and attack for lethal, because you will do double damage. It is a interesting and somewhat competent strategy, because it only requires a single buzzsaw shark for the entire combo to work. So you, if you have a lot of water support, you might want to consider getting a single copy of this card, so that you can just use the skill to deal lethal. There is also Xyz Remora, which lets you detach two materials from your Xyz monster, and revive two water monsters from a graveyard for an Xyz. It is a really good extender to make multiple water Xyz monsters on your field. Even though we have a few Marinza support, a lot of their good cards are not released yet, so the deck basically cannot do anything before those cards are released. We got one of the two Paleo Xyz monsters. This allows Paleos to be an actual strategy instead of just a bunch of trap cards. This Xyz monster allows you to detach to search Paleo trap cards from your deck and allows you to activate Paleo trap cards from your hand. But unfortunately, we don't have their Paleo Link monster or their other Xyz or even Totally Awesome, so the deck probably won't do a lot. Paleozoic Olenoids is a spell and trap removal, but it is as a trap card, so I don't recommend playing this card unless you're playing Paleos, because you'll be better just using a MST or a Lance or even Dust Tornado. We also have a Shooting Code Talker, which is a Code Talker monster that attacks multiple times, and it also allows you to draw cards for each monster destroyed by battle after the end of the battle phase. It gives Code Talker decks a bit more aggressive power, but it only allows you to attack opponent's monsters multiple times and not directly, so you can't use this card alone to deal enough lethal damage. But it's always nice to have more Code Talker monsters for Code Talker decks because Code Talkers do have a number of support that we already have, 
including the recorded alive skill that allows you to cheat it out from the extra deck. So overall, this box is bad. Trick stars don't accomplish anything. Marin says don't even have enough cards to be even playable. Paleos are not competent. And the only good strategy that you can build with this box is probably just Shark Drake Vice. But you will only need one copy of this anyway. So basically, don't buy this box. It's bad. So I guess, thanks for watching. Goodbye.